behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. Looters ransacked stores across Chicago for a second time. That was 45 days ago. Since then, police have tirelessly poured over hours of video looking for evidence to catch the crooks. For the first time, we can take you inside of the war room where detectives are doing just that. Here's Morning Insider Lauren Victory with a story you'll see only on two. A few clicks here, a couple taps there. Combing through hours of video can be tedious, but a split second shot could be a big break. So he'll go frame by frame and look at what is the best image that we could push out to the public. Sergeant Alex Walinski is in charge of the team, trying to individually identify more than a thousand people involved in widespread vandalism on August 10th. We work almost like an assembly line. The six week old looting task force first focused on collecting video. Officers are specially trained to extract footage from all sorts of surveillance systems. It's as good as the technology is. Chief of Detectives Brendan Dinahan explains not every image is going to be crystal clear. And depending on what kind of video are at these locations, including the, the city videos, uh, you, can't, um, you can't just make magic with it. That's why labeling and cataloging each and every looter is important. Details down to clothing, shoes, and possible getaway car in case the same thief pops up in a different video. In some of these pictures, you'll even see, well, this guy doesn't have any stolen items in his hands, but that's the best picture we have. Sometimes characteristics are pointed out because masks can present a challenge, like in the case of looting task force suspect number one. He was charged with three counts of burglary recently. Looking at his mugshot and looking at this video, I wouldn't necessarily think they were the same person. So how do you guys determine that? So for this, specifically for LTF-1, um, it was based on uh, the build. There was several identifiers like tattoos. Calls from the public help too. Inside this second room, tips are vetted, then handed over to another part of the looting task force, case investigators. Hey, that guy lives down the block from me. That's who it is. Dina Han's detectives have already booked more than 70 looters with hundreds to go. We're not going to quit. We're going to keep moving forward. And as we push out these pictures, we're going to constantly be asking for help from the community. We asked if the arrests so far were satisfying. He said that's a question for business owners. Some so hurt by looting that shops remain closed. More victory, CBS 2 News. CPD has various websites set up to crack these looting cases. You can see if you recognize anyone in surveillance photos and videos. Also, you can submit anonymous tips to the task force. We have links to all of that information on our website, cbschicago.com.